Yo, what's going on YouTube? My name's SoFlo Sneakers and welcome back to another episode in my live cop series called Flippin' Kicks. Today's episode is packed with some of the most hype releases of the month, so make sure to stay tuned. And if you wanna learn how to be cooking these same hype releases, make sure to join my free sneaker botting Discord down in the description below. It is one of the fastest growing Discord servers in the community, and like I said, it is 100% free. I hope to see you guys there, and on that note, let's get into today's video. Oh, processing order on Kith right here. What is that? Oh, let's go. Let's go, bro. Let's go. We got a 13. Let's go. The Sean Weatherspoons finally came in the mail, and these are a very unique shoe to say at the least. This is the right shoe over here, and this is the left over here. And as you can see, these are two totally different colorways, but they're still one pair of shoes. The ASICS logo on the side here is actually Velcro, and they came with a bunch of different interchangeable options that you can put onto the shoe, which is actually pretty cool. I'm definitely adding this pair to the collection, so these are gonna be an overall hold for me. So it's currently 9.43 and we're getting ready to go for the Samba. So I'm running two local tasks on Kith and I'm just running random sizes for everything because dunks are super profitable and I'm sure these are gonna be very, very limited. I've been really looking forward to these guys. This is one of like my favorite releases of the year for some reason. I just love these things. So I really hope that I'm able to hit on a pair or two today. Oh, we only have one out of queue. Oh, there's two. Okay, there we go. We're good on Kith. Lowering delays. Let's go, we got a checkpoint. Get over here. Bicycles. Crosswalks. Let's go, baby, let's go. Come on, baby. Let's go, baby, let's go. Yes. Yes, bro. Yes, I got one. Let's go. That is so hype, guys. That is so hype. Oh, I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited. About five days after I hit on these Sambas, I still didn't get any kind of shipping or cancellation email, so I was kind of confused what was going on, and I ended up emailing Kit. They responded with this message right here, and they basically said that they went out of stock in their warehouse, but they're somehow gonna go and look and try to find me a pair. Somehow, some way, Kip actually pulled it off, and three days ago, I received a shipping confirmation on the Sambas, and they're currently on the way to me now. We're going for these Union 4s right now. This drop is about to be crazy. My setup is all over the place. But I have Cyber and I'm really gonna focus on manual for this drop because on the last Union Jordan drop, which was the ones manual absolutely feasted. So that's what we're gonna be going for. But we have some Cyber tasks running in the background. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, here we go, here we go. Answer, what color is an orange? We're gonna go orange, check out. Let's go. All right, we're in queue, we're in queue. Oh, here we go, let's go, let's go. Oh, blurry captcha. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's keep going. Let's go. Order confirmed, baby. Let's go. We got a 10 there. I still can't believe that I hit on a pair of these unions. And like I was saying pre-drop, manual was the absolute move on these. Just like the Jordan 1 release, they ended up switching the entire domain of the website. So originally on unionjordanla.com, where the shoes were posted, they did not end up dropping on there. Luckily, my cook group posted the new domain very, very quickly, which allowed me to get into the queue as fast as possible. There was two different colorways for the fours. There was the white ones, which were the guavas, and I think I'm saying this right, the nowheres, which were the black ones. There was rumors that both colorways were gonna be re-releasing on September 30th, but it turns out now that only the nowheres or the black ones are gonna be re-releasing and the guavas are not. For that reason alone, I'm definitely adding the guavas to my collection, and I can definitely see the value of these shoes going upwards of 1.5 to 2,000 in the future. So I'm sure as a ton of you guys have heard, this 700 stock is extremely limited. So we're starting off the morning right now with undefeated in Packers shoes. Five seconds till drop. Let's get it. Packers dropped. Undefeated. Shipping rates. Checkpoint. All right, we got a lot coming in. Oh, those captures are not good. Rate limited on undefeated. Rip. We're gonna get rate limited here too. I just realized that my undefeated tasks were on fast mode and not safe preload. Such an L guys, I would have had two. Oh, that sucks, but it is what it is for now. And we gotta move on to easy supply. Well, Yeezy Supply was a fat L. We have one last shot at the glory and that's gonna be on Kith and Concepts. So we'll see how this goes. This is my last chance to get a pair of the Azeroths. So I'm hoping for the best. Terrible captures. Let's go, we got one on Kith. There's a ton more hype releases coming up this week, including the Yeezy Slides and the Air Jordan 1 Biohacks, and these are both 100% going to be a cop. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content because there is so much more coming in the future. And on that note, I'll catch you guys on the next one.